Hi all, welcome back to EverQuest 2. We are back on top of this Thord mountain, mountain top, and I just spoke to Fres Frestition <laughs> and delivered the quest for Hey. Giggle Keeper Goblin? Just. How rude. Just interrupting me like that. <laughs> and he's running in midair. Ah, that's nice. I guess he's one of the. Uh, crooks? <laughs> I don't know. Well, what I was gonna say that was that I just uh, delivered the awful ice cube race quest <laughs> and um, what did I get? I got some frozen token of Isa Isi or ASE I don't know um, and that was it and those are currency you can use in special at special merchants so now we need to find uh, something in on an island, a northern island. And since I couldn't find the right island, I'm gonna try and type out a waypoint. Right. Northeast and below you. So it's that way. What did I miss? Let's see. How much further is it? Didn't I go to that island? Let's see where the waypoint tells me to go. This way? It's not an island. It's not an island. I'm just wondering about that. Can't be below me still. No, it's not. Let's see. Oh, it's this island? Can I get up here? Yes. Oh, hello. A frost... A four frost attacker? Really? And I can't do a thing. That was a cute one though. And it's pet. It's got a pet. I want one. Um, sorry, Chida. I mean, I mean, I want one for you. Yeah, pet for you. Uh huh. So, southwestern island. Wow. Then I can't read maps because yeah, I see it now. Okay. There it is. A snarler. Oh, hello. Really? A frost bite. Nice. Me? I'm supposed to kill these little guys? Doesn't seem fair. <laughs> but sure. And there we go. I leveled up. I can choose. Let's see. Yes, if I can't have it with me, I'll at least have it in my house. Nice. Frostfell, no, Frostfay Drake plushie. Nice. Okay. So that's, that's that, I guess. Did that open up some more quests for us? I think it did. Yeah, looks like it. This guy wants to speak with us now. 
<laughs> Ice doing nothing wrong. Just celebrating Frostfeld. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good innocent act. Yes, it is. None of them have caught on to our plans. It is wonderful. And what plans are those? Ah, bash it. Can I trust you? Trust you? Is your cutter and boom spells sharp like your head? Uh huh, yeah, but why? Icy goblins have long been forced workers for ice dragons and mini masters. Some say they like being busy and working for them, but more and more of us find good smiles working for us. Well, you're not enslaved now, what's the problem? Yes, free is us now, but ice dragons need ice workers and they grab frost foots and shiver bones and ice creams goblin. Every time. Every time, really? Well, that one I know of did. The great and horrible white one done had many ice goblins working for her. I will I will not let that happen to me or my cousins again. Uh You think Box is a th is a threat? Have you heard something about her? Not the white one, no. There is another, and it must be smushed before it can slaves us. There's another ice dragon in our earth? Bad news, yes. So you must help us by smushing it. Keeps us fr free from being slayed. Wes, we got pretty shinies to give if he helps us. Oh, shinies? Why didn't you say so right away? Uh-huh. This one can still in shell smushing is easy peasy. Well, I think it's difficult for something to enslave you when it haven't even ha hasn't even hatched yet. They burst from egg sharp and strong and grow slickety fast. They is smushable when still in egg. You is gonna help? Sure, why not? Where's the ice kit? Actually, I already know. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'll go destroy the egg. That sounds like fun, right? And I want a reward. I want a reward, so make it fast. I mean, make it... Have it ready. Look at that sky when uh, it's darkening. The rainbows, they become so visible in this light. It's... It's so pretty. There's a quest as well. Cardi X gift giver? Really? You stopped giving gifts? Ah, don't hit me. I don't want to relieve... I don't want to relive that all over again. What you talking about? I'm sorry. I'm not as ready for this year's festivities as I had thought. My bruises have healed since last year. But I guess my nerves haven't. Uh, so what happened last year? Some brute roughed me up. Something fierce. They grabbed my bag of gifts and smashed all of my snow globes. That's why I didn't have any to give. Is that what's stopping you again this year? Yeah. I still don't have any snow globes to hand out. Besides, what kind of gift giver jumps at shadows? You just need to get back in the holiday spirit. It's worth a shot, Sunny. I would much rather enjoy the festivities. Could you get me more snow globes to hand out? Sure, why not? Why not? I could get a Frostfeld cloak. Let's see if I can even... Ugh. Yeah, it's got the colors for Frostfell, that's for sure. Or a scarf. I can't... That's... That's new. And it's not that bad. Or I could get a female clockwork. Wait, it's not even shown up. There it is. <laughs> right, and what else? A menace toy? Is it lagging? 
Uh huh. Looks like a raptor to me. Or T Rex, sorta. And then we've got. Oh, I could have him frozen eternally in my house. That's something to just to consider. <laughs> Let's just see. All right. Right now we. I need to speak with Luann Grayton in Antonica's Windstock village. So we'll wait with that because I don't want to go to Antonica just yet. Uh, so I need to go to the icy keep again and I'm not sure I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, they're all thawed now. That's good. Mr. Max Scruble, weren't you the one who tried to attack me? Or was that Scruble only and not Max Scruble? Good day. Yeah, well, actually, I think it's the same guy. You're a surly little guy, aren't you? Huh, you had jokes, eh? I like you. I like you. What's your name? And are you looking for work or handouts? My name's Suni, and I'm not really looking for work, but what do you have? Um, there's a bit of nonsense you have to deal with every frost spell. You're sick of it. So you want me to handle it for you? Like I'm in a better mood to do that? So what exactly is this nonsense? The Frostfell Fay and Elves think I need a little attitude adjustment. Maybe. I'm not sure. Killing you didn't seem to help. So, um. So you want... Wait, wait. You need to be at a lecture and you want me to go instead? Yeah, sure. I look exactly like you. Exactly like you. Uh-huh. I don't have to do anything, I'm just going to be you. Well, I'm going to take over your body and see your past, present and future. Well, why not? It sounds, uh, I'm not sure it sounds like fun, but yeah, let's do that. So this is a classic story told in EverQuest 2, a version, the alternate version. <laughs> so Suni is there as a spirit and we are Scruggle. Nice. Ghost of Frostfell Past. Gwenda Gurgly Giggle-Giver. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm really scared. Really. I know you're scared no matter what you say. Because this one time when I saw the ghost, I was so scared that I swallowed my jum jum juice wrong and it made this funny gurgling sound. That's why they called me gurgly. Right. Well, okay then, gurgly. Can we go get on with this? Uh, why was I here? You're here to show me the error of my ways. Right, okay, let's see here. Ah, uh, yes, I'm supposed to say, Mini Max Google, it's time to face your past. You need to realize what a big fat old mini pants you are. Now I shake my wand, and poofs, you a kid again. <laughs> what? Hey! Uh, I mean, we, I mean, I, I didn't look like this when I was a kid. We're on a budget here. Stop complaining, it's close enough. Ready to see your past, Max Scruggle? Scruggy? Yeah, sure. What do we look like? Let's see. Oh! This is Max Scruggle as a kid. And Suni is with us. And her cheetah. So what level are we? 10. Nice. Okay. So, yeah, what to do? 
Um, I need to speak to Mr. Max Google's former girlfriend. I'm gonna do this in first person because it makes more sense. Um, this is her girlfriend. Yeah. Well met. My good missile fig Max Krugel. Can't believe how late you are. We've been holding the feasting day meal for hours. The turkey got cold and we had to reheat it. What do you have to say for yourself? Um, I'm sorry? I can't believe you. Really, sweetness, I am sorry. I guess I, guess I will forgive you this time. Mergy, do you love me? Uh, of course I love you, pumpkin. Ah. Uh, how much do you love me, Mergykins? Um, I love you so much I would walk on glass and eat donkeys for you. Donkeys? That's pretty weird. Mergot, do you even have an interest in this relationship anymore? I absolutely do. I can't believe you would ask that. It hurts my soul that you can even think that. You really are a gentleman, Mr. Max Google. Do you like my dress? It doesn't make me look fat, does it? A little around the middle? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, let's try our best to be nice, okay? Of course not, honey bear. You look gorgeous as always. Thank you, Mergy. You don't think Nightingale is prettier than me, do you? Nightingale who? You're the only girl I see. You really are a sweetheart. What are you thinking about right now? Um, I was thinking Max Krug will better pay me more for this. I mean, uh, my God. I remember when we first started dating, you would always say the most romantic things. Now you don't even seem to care. I care. I'm just preoccupied like a man possessed, I guess you could say. That's the problem, Margot. You're always preoccupied. I bet you don't even remember when my birthday is, do you? Um, the third day of blossoming? No, Margot, you will never appreciate me and truly care about me, will you? I just can't do this anymore. I love you, but you spend more time working than you do with me. And I need more than that. After talking with your friend Figel, I realize I deserve better than you. You breaking up with me? For Figel? Figel is sweet and caring and willing to commit. He has already asked me to marry him. While he may not have your money, he has a big heart and that's what I look for in life, in a life partner. I'm sorry, Margaret, but it just has to be the way this way. Has to be the way this way? Um, sure. Um, but what do I answer? I mean, she's already broken up with me. I mean, Mr. Google. So, yeah, I'll just say fine. Just go, Margot. Fine, I'm gone. So now I need to speak with the ghost again. Okay. See, that was fun, right? No, no. In fact, oh boy, I'm gonna answer like Mr. Scroogle. Um, what, what do we think Mr. Scroogle would say? He would say, uh, that this wasn't fun and that he was better off without her. What? Nose, nose. She was the love of your life, your soulmate, your better half, your ball and chain, your significant other, your, your, uh, she was the spoon to your fork. Okay, okay, I get it. I love her and miss her. I should have paid more attention to her when I had her. I've learned my lesson. Can we leave now? Glad you learned your lesson, Mr. Max Scroogey. We can go. So now what? Oh. 
This is Ghost of Frostfell present. So. I is the Ghost of Frostfell present. It's got to teach. I's got to teach you a lesson, Mr. Scrapple. Yeah, let's get this show on the road. I's going to take you to see what's being a bit mean it does to people. Ready to go? Right, sure. Ah, uh, now what? I need to talk. No, I need to check on Tiny Jim. And I received a small bag with stuff in it, I think. Yeah. Ah, They look sad. Right. Tiny Jim. He is tiny. I should see what Bobby is talking about. What did Jim talk about? Another frost fell with no presents for present day. Well, at least we have our health. Right, Melody? <laughs> Why is he so tiny? <laughs> so now I need to go check what Bobby is talking about. Where's Bobby? There he is. Max Google will be back at the office any moment. I'm so sorry I don't even have time to clear the table, dear. But we both know he will fire me if he catches me out of the office. Of course he will. Grandma Shona, Grandpa Sean. A poor Bobby works all of those hours and we still can't afford to put a turkey on the table. How is it a feasting day celebration with no feast? I wish I could give that Max Google a piece of my mind. Uh-huh. Grandpa Jack. I can't get this fire started. It seems like it's a race between freezing to death or starving to death. I will choke that Miss I will choke that Max Google if I ever see him. Um, so now I need to give some of my belongings to Tiny Jim and his sister. Right. What do we want to give them? Can I... Let's see. Let's see. I don't have anything in my... Yes, I do. I have gifts. Is that it? Sammy. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh boy, oh boy, look, Melody, we have presents. I ha I hope one is more of my medicine. <coughs> Happy Frostfell to everyone. So you don't even ask where the presents c came from? Well, wow, look at me. I'm old now. I mean, I'm Mr. Max Google. In his current form, I guess. So now I need to clean the table. Why? Can't I clean the old table? Okay. I can't target anymore. Come on. There. Dirty dishes. That you make you so happy for so Wow. I can't even speak. You Oh look at pause. Me? Come on! That happy for some... for some... Dishes? Well, I mean, why... why not... go... clean dishes so you could at least keep warm, right? Uh, now what do I need to do? Yeah, I need to... give them the turkey, but... Okay. Need to put the turkey in there? Probably do. Let's see. Turkey. Right. So you magically got a turkey somewhere. I'm not even sure where it is. I only see some dry bread. But look at that, Sean. A turkey just showed up. There it is. Yeah. Just showed up. Uh-huh. And no one's questioning that. 
And now I need to help Grandpa fire up the heater. Yeah, sure. Come on. Oh. So I need to... Come on, come on, come on. There we go. That, that was too easy for you not to do it. Or maybe it's because I'm not hungry. Or cold, or... Yeah, you know. So now... I've learned the lesson of the present for... Of the present, not the present. Present day. Okay, let's talk with this. Gurgus Giggle Gibber. Well met. Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh huh, let's go. <laughs> ah! Rattle, rattle. <laughs> And the ghost of Frostfell Future. Ooh, yeah. I have a fearsome visage and stuff. You could, sh you should cower. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm cowering on the inside. Max Krugel, it is time you face the sad, horrible, terrible, bitter, depressing future you have waiting for you if you don't become a nicer person. Ready? Yep, that sounds really uplifting. Let's go. I should go. I should go. I should go. I should go. 